Hey, Soul Family. Tracy here. Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you so much for the subscribes, the likes, the views, the comments, the shares. Thank you for trusting me with reading for you. Please help me if you have not subscribed. Please subscribe. I am trying to reach 2,000. That's my goal. So let's just jump in and see what the message is that Spirit has for us at the same time. Let's talk about our journey. Aren't you just a little bit curious? Don't you want to know just a little bit more? Don't you have at least one question as to about what's going to happen or what's our next step? Where do we go from here besides up? Well, it's starting right now. Starting in the present. The present is going to be our present. Our gift. It's time for us to be receiving in receiving mode. Don't you already feel the shift in the energy? Don't you already feel a wave of goodness coming to you? Because I do. It's receiving season. It's the time when all the good karma that we put out is coming back. All of those wonderful deeds that we did without bringing attention to it, they're coming back. All those times that we uplifted someone else along their journey and not even realizing it, helping them, it's coming back. This is our present. The present is our present. We do have to set boundaries, though. Of course, with anything and with everything, you have to set healthy boundaries. Because as we receive, people are going to come back. People are going to come in. New people are going to want to come. Old people want to come back. But the ones that want to come towards you, you have to make sure that you set those healthy boundaries. And those people aren't the leeches. But we cannot set such high boundaries that we cannot be and remain open to be connected to those that mean us well. Those that have already healed and have healed their inner child. Confirmation if you heard that home. Those who have already taken the step to go on their journey because they were ready for their new day. We just need to remain open. We just we need to remain open and remember that we need to remain connected to everyone. To everyone. We have to see the beauty in everyone. Just like we want everyone to see the beauty in us. We have to mirror what we want to receive. Something about our new life is presently unfolding. Something about being a light in the dark. Someone is using this to remind everyone that we are all truly connected and we are all just a reflection of each other 
And the way that we feel about ourselves is how we treat the other. So if we feel good about ourselves, we're going to treat another good. And if we feel bad about ourselves, we're going to dog. We're going to talk about. We're going to gossip. We're going to backstab. We're, we're not going to be loyal. We're going to have those negative, toxic traits towards another. Because that's how we feel about ourselves. It's all unfolding. All of it. What else, Spirit? What else? Something is growing. Could be your money. And through some introspection, you understand that the way, the reason that your money is growing is because you are being open. You are remaining connected. And you're being that person that you want others to be to you. You're walking it like you talk. What else, Spirit? But it's growing. Whatever this is, it's growing. I told you. You've done the work. You understand that it starts in here. You heard the message. Loud and clear even if it was just a whisper even if you felt like you weren't going to be able to hear all of it somehow some way by going within and realizing how we're all connected how we're all mirror what we feel inside to the other you heard it loud and clear what else spirit what else Your beacon. Yes. Your beacon. This is how the abundance knows where to go. You've done the interest. You've done the work. This is your present. This is you being open to being connected and understanding that how you feel and what you're doing and everything is, it's like, it's just growing. Even your connection to God is growing. Confirmation. And that's why you are a beacon. That's why your abundance is growing. That's why everything is unfolding as it should. Because you are in alignment. It's like you have that wisdom. Because you hear the whisper. What else, Spirit? You're in alignment. And you have that wisdom. And that's why that's why you're getting this present. It's like you, you, you weren't afraid. It's too many.
you you were the one that wasn't afraid everyone else they talked about it but they weren't about it you were the only one that 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 had the courage to be able to reach your highest self to gain that clarity to follow your own bliss because you were the only one who was not afraid. You weren't afraid to, to look in the mirror at yourself. You weren't afraid to ask God to, to do miraculous things. You weren't afraid to deal with the monster that you saw in you first before you could tackle the monster outside of you. But you reaching your highest self and you having that clarity realize that you didn't even have to do anything after you took care of the inner demons. Because then you were able to see everybody else for who they truly were. You allowed yourself to rest, not just rest, but to let things go. Because you knew that the universe through cosmic flow would take care of everything. That God is working it all out. That there's nothing that you have to worry about. The only thing that you have to do is stay committed to what you need to do. Stay committed to what you've already learned. Stay committed to being open to learning even more, going deeper, reaching higher. Connecting more to God. Because now that you've crossed that threshold, now that you're on the other side and you're looking back at everybody else still trembling, looking at you like, how did they make it? What did they do? You know that there's no way you can even go back. The only thing that you can do is hope they make it. Hope they can catch up. Because when you crossed that threshold, when you went to the other side and you were the only one that was there and looked back to see everybody else shocked, they shocked like hell that you made it. That's when you realized it and that's when everyone else realized it you are enough but you're more than enough you're the brave one you're the warrior what else It's a new day. It's a brand new day. Because going to the other side, everything changes. Your connection with nature and your connection with yourself. Everything changes. Bottom of the deck, temperance. And this is that present. The present.
person I'm talking to truly is an earth angel. The person I'm talking to understands all of this. And this is going to resonate with you. And this is your confirmation message. That you, my dear, are in line to receive a present. You've graduated. You've completed certain cycles that you needed to complete. You put certain things behind you that you needed to let go of. You let go of past regrets, past heartaches, past disappointments. You let go of everything in the past that did not serve your highest purpose, that didn't serve your highest good. You let it go. And this is something that had affected you for a long time, several years, maybe the majority of your life. So for you to have let it go, that was you making it to the other side. And that's what everybody didn't understand. That's what makes them like, wow, how? 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 We have the Justice. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. We have the King of Wands. And we have the Eight of Swords. Someone was open. They were open to being connected to spirit. They were open to healing. They were open to loving on themselves and seeing their own worth. They were open to doing the work that they needed to do to let go of what was holding them back, what was hurting them. They were open to looking at everything and making sure that after they had addressed everything, no matter what it was, they had to let it go. And what they looked at and what they saw that was holding them back was one of the relationships that they felt was not supposed to have been holding them back, but to was supposed to have been encouraging them to move forward, encouraging them to reach higher. But that's not what was going on. So the only way this person could actually even have that new day is to really look at what was going on and see everything clearly and everyone clearly especially those that we are most connected to they saw that that person that they were very connected to, was acting kind of haughty, kind of egotistical, kind of like a bully, kind of do things that behind your back, you know, that type of person. 
they talked bad about you. They did this, they did that. They created burdens for you. They made it so that people wanted to push you out. They made it so that you had to remain strong. They wanted to cause burdens. That's what made you look at and understand the whole thing about the mirror is about how you feel about you is how you treat others. Thank you, Spirit. Chariot. Because as you started to understand more, Spirit started to show you more. It was almost like you could look in the mirror and see exactly what what the other person was going through almost like you could have this gift of sight you could see exactly what this person was doing it's like you could like you were looking high above not saying that you were sitting or you're anywhere high above but you could see you had like an overview of what someone else's game plan plan game was the more you became clear the more you saw the more you saw you weren't just looking with your physical eyes, you were now looking with your spiritual eyes. You were looking with your third eye. You were looking with with open, open chakras. I know I saw something flip. There it is. And by doing so, you started growing. Not just growing, but becoming stronger, becoming wiser. It's like your connection with God started getting stronger because you started really going within. I mean, because after you found this out about your connections, your your closest, what you thought were your closest connections, you had no choice but to go with in what else spirit what else thank you spirit what else yes this is you This is you. You're secure. You know, you, it's like you're, you're happier. You're, you're on firm foundation. You know, you're, you, you've come a long way. It's like, you, it's like, you know where you're going. You know what you're doing now. You, you have plans. You have goals. You're deciding on a brand new life, a brand new world. The, and, and you're deciding on the people that you're going to allow in it. It's not just that you're going to allow, you're deciding on who you're going to allow in it, but you're also deciding on what you're going to do to help others so that they don't have to go through what you went through. It's like you're sitting here, you're planning. You're really thinking about everything and how maybe other people's home lives may, have, may be in, uh, affected by whatever it is that you went through. Whatever this was, then that's what it is. It's it's that's why you're sitting here planning on what how you can what you can do, how you can do it, you know, your next moves, you know, are you gonna be traveling? Are you gonna be moving, whatever it is. But I feel like, you know, you putting it out there, you Getting your word out there, you getting your story out there is what allows you to be that beacon.
because then people see exactly and they relate not only do they see and they relate they're able to put an end to it they're able to stop their generational curses they're able to get off the fit the the, the uh, hamster wheel they're able to make it so that the wheel of fortune turns in their favor because you're able to allow them the information that they need on how to move forward on what to do on what to look out for on ways that people are going to sit here and and do this and do that you know and rush in and and they'll play these games for a long ass time but how their true intention is to have you out in the cold how their true intention is to have you unfo not focused off center everything else you know bringing it to telling people what other people's true intentions who are not healed telling them that hey misery does love company at times and you have to look out for these people helping these to helping helping people to get into alignment so that they can receive their gifts so that they can receive their present and maybe this present is someone's gifts are increasing someone's spiritual gifts and that's a that's a gift in itself thank you spirit yeah spirit is is guiding this person safely and and and, and aligning this person so that this person is 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 like a, 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 a I'm telling you, I feel like it's a it's a fighter. I feel like it's a warrior. I feel like it's a, a spiritual gangster. This person is someone who's who's able to help other people to move to calmer waters, to to be able to align with their their selves, their highest selves, get into perfect alignment, so that they can have that connection with God, so that they can feel that specialness, so that they can have that clarity. So that they can follow their own bliss, you know, and, and, and understand what's true happiness and what's not, what's healthy and what is unhealthy. Sometimes, sometimes in order for us to be happy, we do have to understand that there is some pain there and maybe is that pain really, really worth us staying? Because are we really happy? like you know having to having people having to ask themselves those tough questions and to be honest with themselves because guess what you're only telling the truth to yourself and yourself already knows but it's like i almost feel like you know when you speak the truth out loud, whether you're by yourself, but you mouth it out loud, it's almost like it's something magical happens. Those deep, dark, rooted secrets that we don't want to tell nobody. We can go into the bathroom. We can say them out loud and get them out. And it's like something magical within our spirit, within our soul happens. Confirmation. Because God is hears us confirmation confirmation and this is god hearing us this is god hearing us and this is this is us just like holding that relationship with God so special. Like we have, you know, a gift. That, that's the present. That is the present that God is giving us. That, that, that relationship. What we didn't have back here. What, what, what we failed to have back there because we thought it was on the outside of us and then whenever we realized the gift the present 
the the wonderful miraculous things that were happening was on the inside of us it was happening on the inside of us and this is like something that we failed to realize from a long time ago this is it's like we 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 forgot how we how happy we were a long time ago when we were like young and innocent. It's like before life started beating us up. But now this is our opportunity that we can grab this again. Six cups and four cups is ten cups. And look, Spirit has given this person another opportunity. This person knows this is not it. This is it. That relationship from the overflowing, always full, never empty cup of love from God. That's that new day. That is that new day. It's almost like somebody is almost afraid to they they want to make that commitment, but they're afraid to talk about it. They're afraid to do it. They're hesitant for whatever reason. But they know it's for the best. Because they're thinking about a time before, whenever, before they started thinking, or worrying about things that were on the outside of them. They were thinking about a time before whenever it seemed like the world was their oyster. Everything was in their hands until it's almost like they got beside themselves. And then everything changed. But yeah, someone... They were they were afraid, but it's like they this is the time for and maybe someone is maybe they're not really afraid to voice it. Maybe they're just doing it in private. Or maybe someone is finally going to go ahead and talk about those deep dark secrets that they have not been not said. And they're gonna go ahead and share that information with God. Because that's who they have to share it with. Not another person, but with God. God's waiting for them to say it out loud. And this person is thinking about it. This person is contemplating it. This person is saying, you know what? I'm by myself. There's nobody else in the house. Let me try it. And when they do it, because they're in the bathroom looking at themselves in the mirror, but whenever they do it, it's almost like they instantly feel a rush. A rush of freedom. A rush of breath of fresh, fresh air. Message of concern at the bottom. And maybe someone is concerned, you know? Thank you. Yeah, maybe somebody is concerned. Because here it is again. But I feel like their concerns are unfounded. Because right here, something is something is being written into spiritual law. There's a big change that's coming. And someone's concerned about it, but I don't feel like you need to be. But something is, is happening to someone on a spiritual level this is a big change I'm telling you their gift is increasing they're present 
is right here. You know who you are. Because this is you. Great fortune. It's almost like for whatever reason you're 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 still a little hesitant because you're having these thoughts of okay, well when will when you know and how and you know how exactly what it's almost like you want step A, step B, you know, and these these are thoughts that you need not have need not worry and need not concern yourself with because the thing is it's all happening so someone is is going to is they they're going to be placing themselves under undue stress and pressure don't because your ancestors are coming that's why you're being that's why you're Gifts are increasing. I'm going to pull some from the stack. Someone needs to just remain calm. Or someone is very calming. Or someone always appears very calm. They never, they never appear like anything, like they never act, they never appear like anything rattles them. They appear very calm, this person. Thank you, spirit. You're okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. The bottom. You are the star. Told you. You know who I'm talking to. You know who you are. You know who you are. Somebody somebody thinks something happened on accident, but it's not on accident. It, it's on purpose. It's on purpose. Yeah, something about um, maybe someone, this person, that someone that, you know, you had to have this eye awakening experience about maybe this person was like someone, a narcissist flying monkey or something, but they're hoping that you call. Uh, having to do with their, someone's first house of self, the first house, and that's how they feel about themselves, you know, but that's, that's where if it's, if it's like bad, that's all they're thinking about is themselves. And maybe that was the problem with this person. This person could have been could have been your twin flame. You know, could have been. But well, something about someone, I'm telling you, someone is very calm. They nobody ever lets anyone see them sweat. Nobody, nobody ever sees this person sweat. They, they just like, oh okay, you, you know, they could be walking by, car blow up beside them. They might jump, you know. But then somebody else is like, oh my god, blah blah blah, and this person's like, yeah, that's yeah, I saw it too. Oh my gosh, wow. Let's go ahead and call nine one one, and they're the, like they're the they're the calm person, you know. Everybody else is running around mayhem and like having fun or whatever. So. All right. I hope that this helps someone with their journey. I love y'all. Please subscribe. Please help me reach 2,000 if you haven't already. Thank you so very much, and I will see you soon.